Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a series of videos designed to help you make the most out of my website, diagnosticquestions.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can actually assign a quiz to your classes, which they can then complete as either an in-class assessment or as part of a homework assignment. So to do this, the first thing you're going to need to do is find a quiz that you want to assign. So the best place to go here is to click onto the quiz menu and you get loads of them. Now, we're going to actually assign the quiz that we created uh, in the previous video, the straight line graphs quiz. Now, if you're happy to assign this straight away, then you can do it with one click of a button. Just click assign to class and you're good to go. But if this is a quiz that you haven't looked at for a while, or perhaps it's one that you haven't created yourself, the chances are you might want to go into it um, and have a closer look. So if we click on this, we get taken to the quiz page. If we want to, we can actually do the quiz ourselves um, all the way through and check all the answers are right and offer our own explanations and so on. Uh, but what I like to do is uh, to save a bit of time is to click on see questions. And this shows me all the questions that uh, comprise this quiz. And it also gives me a really just interesting take by showing me the data already compiled by students from all around the world answering uh, the questions that make up this quiz. So I can already start to see what questions are going to cause uh, difficulty and identify a, a few misconceptions. Um, I'm going to show you in a second how to use um, the technology to assign it to your students so they can answer it on mobile phones and tablets and so on. But perhaps you don't want to use technology for this particular quiz. Uh, perhaps you just want the students to do it using pen and paper. Well, we've tried to account for that as well. Uh, so if you click on this generate worksheet uh, button here, then what this does is it generates you a little PDF. And if I open that PDF there, then you've got the quiz itself in paper format. So students can uh, circle their answer and then write you an explanation and then hand that in just like a traditional homework. But if you want to use the technology, then all you need to do is find that magic symbol again, the assigned to class symbol. Give that a little click. And you are taken to a page where you pick your class. Now I'm going to go for my year 11s. They'll love a bit of straight line graphs. Uh, for a comment, I normally go for something like full explanations, please. Just to remind students that I like them to explain their answer. It also helps if I could spell explanations. Then I choose a start and an end date. Uh, Monday morning, what a time to start a quiz. Uh, and an end date, let's have that in for Friday. Get the weekend started early with that one. And then all I need to do is click create. And then that quiz will be then be assigned to my students. And when they log in, it will be um, immediately obvious to them on their dashboard that they need to do that. And then just to reiterate, they can answer that on their phones, their tablets, their laptops, anything that's got an internet connection. If you want to know more about how to analyse that quiz once your students have done it or how your students actually go about answering it themselves or anything else, just click on the About section and go to How To Videos and you'll find loads of useful information there. Take care and bye for now.